Hello again, College 101. This is Josh Blevins uh, giving you a follow-up tutorial uh, on Microsoft Access today, um, adding text boxes and running queries in uh, Microsoft Access. So, as I said, this is a follow-up on the previous tutorial uh, covering Google Sheets, and we are going to use the same spreadsheet uh, for the uh, business administration Bible double major uh, plan of work uh, for our database. So before getting into that, uh, the purpose of today's lesson is to familiarize you guys, especially those of you who are entering into technical fields, uh, computer-based fields, um, with database tools and some basic uh, database manipulation strategies so that when you use these in the future, uh, whether it be for businesses or for companies, um, inventory, um, whatever it is, that uh, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to form these databases successfully, manipulate information the way that you need to to analyze um, the information that you need to achieve your best results or get answers. So the objectives today, we are going to navigate the different view options within Access. Uh, we're going to change data types in the design view. Uh, and we're going to be inserting check boxes into uh, data sets. Um, and we are going to create a query and use queries to organize data in different ways. And by doing all these things, I hope that you know how to manipulate data types to enhance your databases. Uh, you understand how to create checkboxes within these databases, um, as checkboxes are, I think, vitally important for inventory purposes and, and such. And finally, I hope you learn how to use queries to analyze your data, manipulate your data in ways that benefit uh, your businesses, companies, uh, whatever you do with it in the future. So let's jump right in. I'm going to open up Access. I have already imported the sheet that we used yesterday. So uh, you notice that there are already check boxes in the completed tab. So those were not there initially when I imported the sheet. And I'm going to show you what I did to get those to appear. So the first thing I'd like you to learn about in the ribbons tab at the far left here, top left corner, you see a button that says view with a drop down arrow beneath it. I'm going to click that drop down arrow and I'm going to take us to design view highlighted in pink right now. And you see all my field names from the sheet. So uh, going back to database or data sheet view, I'm going to go ahead and click yes to save. You see uh, all of our different field names here. We've got the course number, uh, course title, requirements, so on and so forth that we had in the sheet yesterday. So clicking on view one more time, going back to design view, you see that we have uh, short text uh, data types for the course numbers and titles and requirements. Uh, the core requirements. Um, we have a no it automatically formatted our number of credit hours into a number set. It formatted our date taken into uh, date and time. Now that may not always be the case. Uh, you may have to change this field from a number or short text to date and time for it to uh, read dates correctly. Something to keep in mind when manipulating your data. Now um, initially in our completed uh, tab like I said, the checkboxes weren't always there. Uh, that field initially was blank and it was shed, set up as short text. And if we go back and look now by clicking on view one more time at the top left, hitting data sheet view one more time, go ahead and click yes to save. Uh, you see that the checkboxes have all been replaced by the word no. That's how it looked. Again, I'm going to click on view at the top left, take us back to design view. In that completed field, I'm going to change the data type highlighted in yellow. You see the column data type. I'm going to change short text to yes and no. And here at the bottom, you see the general t uh, tab that shows us the format, default values, so on and so forth. 
click on the lookups tab, um, the display control, it's already set up as checkbox. So again, I'm going to click on view at the top left, drop down, take us back to data sheet view, hit yes to save. I'm going to hit yes again, that some data may be lost, and that would be the no's that were appearing in all those fields are lost now, replaced by these check boxes instead. So we have learned how to manipulate data types to better analyze our data. So how do we analyze data in Access? Well, you have the same drop down arrows in each field where you can uh, sort in ascending or descending order. Um, a to Z, Z to A, as we see from this option here, we also got some check boxes you can manipulate. But let's pretend that we are about to have a meeting with our advisor about the fall 2021 semester, and he wants to know what classes we plan on taking and why. So let us create a query in our database. So we do that by cr clicking on the Create tab at the top in the ribbon right beside the home button. Uh, so in the create tab, we are going to click on query design. You see in our sheet, right beside sheet one, we now have a, another tab that says query one. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add, click add, and we're gonna close this menu. And now we have in a, a query called sheet one within that queries tab. And we need to drag the corner here just to make it a little bit bigger to show all of our options. And so in the fields below here, that grid below here, we can go ahead and start clicking on these items and it will fill in left to right the uh, fields here that we are selecting in this box at the top. So let's just say date taken, then I click on course title and you see it filling in sequentially left to right in the grid at the bottom. So I want everything um, set up the same way that I had it on the sheet. I want to begin with course number, then course title, and I'm going to head, I'm going to go ahead and click on core requirements. I'm going to fill this out just like my sheet on the other page. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different fields here. There are, they are all automatically checkmarked. Uh, they are showing from sheet one. If you had multiple sheets, you could select which sheet that you're pulling from. Um, and now for the sort option. So like I said, we are look, gonna look at fall of 2021. So uh, we're going to, in the, uh, date taken sheet, we are going to set criteria for this query as 8-2021. And let's go ahead and organize those classes based on our core requirement breakdown, that being uh, whether it's a general ed class, a Bible class, business administration, so on and so forth. So in this third row where it says sort, going over to the core requirements column, I'm going to click on the empty cell, drop down the arrow, and we're going to look at it in ascending order. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run this query. So we've got the two pieces of information that we want for our meeting, and we're going to prepare that report. So at the top, uh, we have, we're, we're currently in the design view of query tools. We're going to click on run at the top left, right beside the view option. Oh, and it says there is a data type mismatch in the criteria expression. Let's take care of that really quickly. Maybe taking out the parentheses will help us out run one more time. Yes, it did. So sorry about that. Uh, anyways, so now in this query one, we have a column or, or a, a, um, a sheet rather that has the six classes that we plan on taking for the fall 2021 semester. Um, and we 
can see that these are organized uh, sequentially, uh, Bible, business administration, and then our general educations. Uh, so we can pull this report, we can take it to our uh, academic advisor now, and we can show him what we're taking, uh, how it fulfills our academic requirements, and uh, go from there. Anyways, I hope that this quick tutorial answered some questions you had about uh, Microsoft Access and using it in practical purposes. Um, and I also hope that it helped familiarize you with um, manipulating data sets and, uh, and uh, changing data types to enhance your uh, databases and your ability to manipulate information. Um, I'm hoping that you will take advantage of that awesome checkbox feature uh, in the future and that, um, and that you'll know, now know how to uh, run queries on your uh, databases to, uh, to get the information that you're looking for to analyze your data better and help you prepare for those business meetings, uh, whatever else you may have uh, a use for access for in the future. Anyways, uh, good luck with the rest of your semester, and thank you for listening.